Okay, let's keep going. So before the break, we talk about uh, tonicity, different tonicities, and uh, we talk about the hypotonic solution. That's the solution make the cell swell. So a lot of people know if you don't drink water, uh, you you will die. Right? If you don't have water, you you can only survive for about three days, because every day you lose about uh, two liter of water. Through uh, through your uh, urination, through your sweating, and also you breathe. You breathe out not just CO two. You also breathe out water. If you don't trust me, uh, put a mirror in front of your nose. If after about thirty seconds, you found you have vapor on it, so you breathe out water. You naturally lose those water. So the only way to replace those lost water is drinking water. So you have to drink water. Uh, you don't drink about two liter. You drink about one point. Five liter, and the reason is your body they can produce all water. Uh, your body is a chemistry fab, so when they have the digestive function, chemical reaction, they can produce some water. So and also your food, your food have water, and so you don't drink two liter of water. You drink about one point two liter, one point five liter of water. So everybody know you drink water, and but not too many know if you drink too much water, it can harm your body. Or uh, some worst scenario, you can die because of it. And the reason is you t you can turn your body solution into a hypotonic solution. You drink too much water too quickly, and you can turn your blood into this. You dilute your blood too much, and it's called the water poisoning. And those big hospital they have the water poisoning lab, water intoxication lab. That's a big word to say water poisoning. And a lot of patients, they are actually super healthy patients. They are in good fit. They are, they are, they are athletes. They work, exercise a lot. They care about their body. They just drink too much water. Uh, because a lot of people know they don't drink water, they die. But not too many people know if they drink too much water too quickly, they can harm their body as well. And that's water intoxication. And let's look at the, the worst scenario, this lady. It's about ten years ago when Nintendo Wii was a pretty hot toy. So there's a a, a radio station, and they ask all the competitor to drink as much water as they can, and hold their pee. So this that's how they say it. And they they the winner gonna take home with a shiny Wii. So this lady, uh, went to. Went to the contest and she drank about two liter of water. She drank two liter of water, and she won. She took home the Wii, but after a few hours, she died. And all the the worker in the radio station got fired. They because they did not know. Um, they thought it's funny. It's not funny at all. You can you can harm your body. And. Because they did not know when you drink too much water too quickly, and it can harm your body, or the worst scenario, die. So why she die? Let's go back to the previous size. So you know the reason, right? She drank two liter of water, and we learned the plasma volume is about three point five liter, and with red blood cell, the total blood volume is about five liter in physiology man. So in normal people, there your blood volume is about five liter. And quickly, you pour in two liter of water. Yeah, you need two liter of water per day, but not two liter of water per ten minutes. So when you pour those two liter of water into your blood, you you quickly dilute your blood by five liter to two liter. At two liter, that's that's forty percent. You dilute your blood by forty percent, and you turn your blood into this. Okay, now the water have no stop. You just move through the cell membrane. And all the red blood cells swell, hemolyzed. They not just swell; they burst like balloon, pop, burst. So it does not have enough red blood cell to carry oxygen to its important organ. And the water won't stop there; they'll keep going. They'll go to every cell. And when they go to the neuron, that's the cells in the brain, and especially in the original brain area called、uh, medulla oblongata, it control your heart rate, control your blood pressure, control your breathing. And when those cells die, your body die. So that's how she die. And it tell you everything in your body need to be just right. So you gradually build the concept. It's not the more the better. If you take a lot of good stuff in your body, it can turn into a bad stuff. 
can turn into a toxic molecule like water. So your, your body needs water. You drink too much water too quickly, it becomes toxic. It's called water intoxication. Uh, oxygen, the same. We need oxygen, but we don't, we don't breathe in pure oxygen because too much oxygen, uh, even with the oxygen tank, the, the oxygen mask, they, it's not 100% oxygen. They, they mix with some other uh, gas molecule because the, the oxygen, 100% oxygen is too much. So in animal study, if they make the animal breathe 100% oxygen uh, after about 12 hours to 24 hours, they start to damage the uh, alveoli cells in the, in the lung because it's too much, too much oxidation. So everything in your body needs to be just right, not too much, not too little. And this will, this brings to another topic called homeostasis. So our next topic, next lecture, will focus on homeostasis, means a stable environment. Not too much, not too little, it needs to be just right. So the water concentration also needs to be maintained as homeostasis. That's why your body concentration is, is about 300 milliosm, and that's the, that's the correct concentration. Not too much, not too little. Okay, that's the water intoxication. Uh, well, you took the cruise, right? Very romantic. And you hit the iceberg, right? Hit up here. Well, very, very romantic. And you found you've been surrounded with water. Okay, should you drink the seawater to quench your thirst? Yeah, you know the answer is no, right? Uh, if you accidentally test the seawater, you found it's so salty. It's so salty because it's, it's a hypertonic solution. It's about three times higher concentrated than your body concentration. The, the seawater osmolarity is about a thousand milliosm. So if you drink seawater, what's going to happen? Let's go back to the previous two slices. Okay, this one, right? So if you drink seawater, it's a hypertonic. So the water gonna move out from your red blood cell to dilute the salt. So you got dehydrated quicker. That's why you don't drink seawater. So there's a hypertonic situation. Okay, let's do some uh, practice. So now you know, okay, only the non-penetrating particle will decide tonicity. But every particle will decide osmolarity. Because osmolarity is still a concentration. It's like molarity. Molarity and it's how many particles per, how many more per, per volume. And osmolarity, you just multiply the dissociation factor, it becomes the always more, but still particle. So this question I ask you, solution is, you put the red blood cell, there's a red blood cell, about 300 milliosm, non-penetrating inside, into a beaker uh, with 200 milliosm sodium chloride. Uh, the answer I ask here is hyper, iso, or hypo. And the same, hyper, iso, or hypo. So compare this solution with this one. Well, you have 300 milliosm inside the cell, 200 milliosm outside the cell. This is the, this is hypotonics. Uh, hypoosmotic because the concentration is lower. How about the tonicity? Tonicity is how the cell behaves. Okay, you can see the non-penetrating, 300 non-penetrating inside, 200 non-penetrating outside. Well, the water gonna flow, the water gonna flow in to dilute the, 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 the red blood cell. So, so the red blood cell gonna swell, so it's a hypotonic. So the inside is hypoosmotic, hypotonic. Let's do one more. So this time we put 300 milliosm non-penetrating inside and 400 milliosm urea outside. First, I ask you osmolarity. And osmolarity is a concentration. It's a concentration. We don't care how the cell behaves. So you found 300 milliosm inside, 400 milliosm. You found I don't even mention what's the solute because I don't care for osmolarity. I just care about the concentration. So 300 milliosm inside, 400 milliosm outside. This is a hyperosmotic. But how the cell behave? That's tonicity. So this time I care about non-penetrating particle. So you have 300 milliosm non-penetrating particle inside. You have zero milliosm non-penetrating particle outside because urea in the beginning of this lecture, I tell you, urea is the penetrating particle. So you have zero non-penetrating outside. So, it's, so it turned out the cell behaved like exactly like you put it into the pure water. Water kind of flow in, try to dilute the non-penetrating. Urea, 
penetrating particle, it's gonna take care of itself. So this is actually a hypotonic solution. Even though it's a hyperosmotic, it's a hypotonic. Clinically, we use the normal saline. So now you're very familiar with normal saline. It's an isotonic solution. And sometimes they will use a combination of them, like D5 normal saline. D5 normal saline is 5% dextrose. Uh, it's, it's like glucose. So if I give it dextrose, it's exactly like glucose. So molecular weight is 180 gram per mole. So it's 5% sugar with uh, normal saline and uh, the reason is sometimes the patient is very weak they need the sugar to give them the cells uh, ATP so they will give them D5 normal saline or you can have the hypotonic solution like D5 water that's 5% uh, sugar water 5% dextrose and this is a hypotonic because uh, this molecule so all the glucose oh by the way all the glucose is gonna move into the cell because every living cell they will take glucose in. They need to produce ATP. So if I give you the glucose solution, it's a penetrating particle. Glucose we consider is clinically we consider is penetrating particle. It's slowly penetrating, but it's it's penetrating, a hundred percent penetrating. Uh, half normal saline. So this is a hypotonic because you only have half about the salt. Or D five half normal saline. So uh, since water uh, since sorry since sugar is a penetrating particle we don't care about this intonicity we only care about the non-penetrating particle that's the sodium chloride so d5 have no more so it's still it's still a hypotonic solution it's gonna make the cell swell okay that's it for today